with New York Congressman Lee Zeldin. Republican Congressman Lee Zeldin. Congressman Lee Zeldin of New York. Congressman Lee Zeldin of Long Island in New York. Republican Congressman Lee Zeldin of New York. Is an advocate for family law reform and helping uh, veterans. A member of the House Foreign Affairs and Veteran Affairs Committee. He's also co-chair of the House Republican Israel Caucus. He's also an Iraq War veteran. Because of uh, his experience, uh, both his distinguished career in the U.S. Army, but also as an intelligence officer, a pr former prosecutor in the Army, and a, a military magistrate. What I like about Eldon is that he was Army. I was Army too. He's one who cares. He's trying to help out veterans. He's not just talking. He's going to D.C. and he's doing stuff. Congressman Lee Zeldin wants to expand the PFC Joseph Dwyer Peer Support Program. This effort tonight, these bills, it's for our veterans in need, it's for their families too, and it's the way that we give back. This is how to say a proper thank you. Representative Zeldin, thank you for your service and thank you for your work on this important piece of legislation. That peer-to-peer -peer program has been essential. And we're going to support you reference to this uh, PTSD. So many of our soldiers have that. That we have veterans who are being separated from service with less than honorable discharges and it is directly connected to them having the mental wounds of war. If you raise your hand and you're willing to lay down your life in protection of our freedoms and liberties for that flag, for everything that makes our country great, to protect it and defend it. When you come home, you should have shoes on your feet. There should be food on your table. There should be a roof over your head. It's been a rough couple of years uh, between my house burning down and random brain tumors and lung tumors and liver tumors. First time I met uh, Lee Zeldin was the Hatchog. And afterwards I met him, got to introduce myself, got to meet him and his, his guys. They were great. I've been in touch with them pretty much since. They give me the random call now and then just to see how I'm doing, which is great. The first time I met Congressman Zeldin, he came up to us and asked how he could help out. We were talking about the heroin crisis we have in our community here. Within a few weeks, Congressman Zeldin got back to us and formed this big seminar and asked us to to it. Sunday, U.S. Representative Lee Zeldin announced two congressional bipartisan initiatives called the Comprehensive Addiction and Recovery Act of 2015 and the Stop Overdose Stat Act. I also rise today to discuss the mosquito-borne Zika virus, which has spread at rapid rates across South America, Central America, and the Caribbean, infecting individuals in more than 25 countries. My first responders responded to Manhattan on 9-11. Now, years later, they're coming down with cancers and other ailments. And it's because of this Droga Act now that got passed with the help of Congressman Zeldin that are getting these guys help and taking care of their families as well. Uh, I rise today in support of my bill, the Counterterrorism Screening and Assistance Act of 2016. We need to stop federally mandated over-testing in our schools. To protect Plum Island, I introduced legislation in Congress that would prevent the sale of the island by the federal government to the highest bidder. Congressman Lee Zeldin announced that the Peconic Bay Medical Center's Manorville campus will provide comprehensive health care to veterans. That Long Island Congressman Lee Zeldin is calling for a criminal investigation into the insurance company. Yet with the high season upon us, many of my constituents are finding themselves bewildered by actions of the FAA. This amendment will hold the FAA to its word on its critical local issue. A local issue that should have a local solution. Congressman, I've got to say, a freshman congressman, you're a busy man. He's one of the greatest assets we have in this chamber, uh, and it's just a real pleasure to have gotten to know him over the last year and a half and to call him a friend. I'm proud to have a congressman who's not afraid to take on our president and our administration. Our enemies do not respect weakness, they only respect strength. And I challenge our presidents with strength to bring the Iranian government to their knees. You are the leader of the free world. Act like it. I unapologetically love my country. I took an oath to be an officer of the United States military willing to fight and die in protection of our freedoms and liberties. I love this country. And I took an oath to serve here the members of my district. The gentleman from New York. And the gentleman from New York.
Mr. Speaker, I thank the gentleman from New York. The gentleman from New York, Mr. Zeldin. The chair recognizes the gentleman from New York.